I'm just going to show you four exercises you can do with a real simple resistance band. These are great for getting some range of movement, but also building strength in the positions, particularly targeted around the shoulder stabilizers and the muscles acting on the scapula. So if you've got a little band, you can just do a real simple sequence. The first one we're going to do is our overhead rotation. So we can take our hands as wide out as we need to. The closer they are, the more difficult this is going to be. So we're just looking to start off with by getting some range. So working through nice stable positions from the midsection of the spine we're just going to come through and then rotate out overhead and just get that rotation as we're going now through into the shoulder position we might put a few reps together we could go through eight to ten just rotations feel that shape if we want to start find some different shapes and positions you can use the band to start to feel the positions where you might have got any kind of just restrictions just take it steady we don't want to be coming over and then like forcing into a position. Look after the shoulder joint, making it sure it's nice, smooth and controlled movement. The next one then we're gonna do is just split the band and just take one, loop one round overhead, let the band sit on the back of the shoulders. Same position, let's just cue ourselves into a good, strong spinal position, which is gonna to help to, to link the shoulders with the pelvis. Reach up nice and tall, we can then pull the band down and then into a position where we're squeezing the shoulder blades together behind the body, control it back up, let yourself feel the scapula move back up into that upward rotated position, reach, pull, squeeze down together, hold at the bottom, and then come back up, allowing that nice smooth movement. One of the great things about the band is you have to work quite hard on the eccentric phase because it will try and pull you back into that end shape. You've got to control it, squeeze nice and tight, and then feel that shoulder blade gliding and sliding back into this upward rotator position, and then back down nice and tight to get a bottom shape. The next one, again, half the band, we're gonna go hands out in front, hold the position, palms facing upwards, strong through the midsection, and we're just gonna do some effectively reverse fly. So getting a posterior deltoid working a little bit, cueing into a little bit of retraction through the shoulder blades. Again, building some tissue temperature. It's really gonna help in terms of activating the musculature, which is gonna be really important in stabilizing our handstand progressions. And the last one, we can take is just put the band onto the floor. Take a slightly wider stance for this one because I want to create a diagonal line. Take the band in the opposite hand and I'm going to go thumb up. Position the shoulder into a nice stable shape and just pull up into a single arm Y. Again, this position here, the band is going to want to pull me back into start position. So set through, nice strong shape. Control that positive position back down. Good sort of three seconds on the way back in. Feeling the strength as you pull up and then controlling it back down, and then can switch sides over. Real simple little flow we can put together. Reach across, get the diagonal, thumb up, position your shoulder in a nice stable shape, and then we can just come through, pull, and then control back in. Through each of these exercises, just be mindful about starting to control that spinal position with a very tendency to arch through or feel like we're losing a little bit of the connection Drill everything in so the shoulder is moving into good positions in the same kind of postural control that we're going to need for our handstand drills. A real simple little training tool, but really effective at getting the shoulders prepped and ready for your handstand session. Okay.